Dental Milling Engineering is a dental engineering company founded in 2010. In its career, it has developed several products such as anchors, overdentures and dental implants, amongst others. Through this informative video, Dental Milling Engineering presents its revolutionary anchor system in zirconium called Zirlock. This video is an experience in an actual case conducted by industry professionals and subsequently digitized. In this case, we will demonstrate how to use Zirlock in fixed prosthesis. We will demonstrate that with this technique, a fixed prosthesis is achieved for the patient and is removable for the doctor through the removal of bridges. Zirlock allows with this method the saving of screws between the prosthesis and the implant. Then we will show how Zirlock manages to correct the different angles of the implants. In this case, we will present two implants of 20 to 25 degrees of angulation, two implants of 10 to 15 degrees and two straight implants. Moreover, Different combinations of implants are represented using implants of internal connection and external connection, demonstrating how dental milling engineering, through its revolutionary converters, adapts Zirlock to different market internal connections, without influencing the correction of implant angulations. Having achieved all the mechanical parts of the correction, we will show the correct way and the indications of dental milling engineering for a fixed prosthetic work through Zirlock without the doctor's necessity to screw it. In conclusion, there will be a fixed prosthesis for the patient which is removable for the doctor through the removal of bridges. In this presentation, the Zirlock advantages will be shown when making the assembly of a fixed prosthesis. Because of the technique used by dental milling engineering, with Zirlock screwing tensions are avoided, thanks to the innovative development of the male engineering, allowing the attachment to function as brake forces. Finally, the cementation of the prosthesis to the retainer holder offers a result of passivity that is almost impossible to achieve with a screwed prosthesis. In addition, not having to use ceramol composite to seal the inlet of the screws in fixed prosthesis allows the laboratory to deliver fully finished prosthesis and in occlusion obtaining an incomparable aesthetics. Thus, it is very simple to disassemble this prosthesis by the doctor because all the work of removing the ceramic composite plugs is simply avoided by using the removal of bridges. This type of work is recommended for cases from a minimum of six implants. Since by experience it is very difficult to achieve stability with only four implants for a fixed prosthesis. Thus, dental milling engineering advises to proceed in cases with less than six implants with a standard protocol of removable prosthesis with this type of anchors. In this computer simulation, we have taken as an example a real case in which six implants have been placed for T. Theres implants IDME line with internal diameter 4.3 connection and two T. Theres implants HDME line with external connection diameter 4.3. With a need to save the tooth nerve, as you will see in this video, the two implants at 36 and 46 had an angle of 20 to 25 degrees. This combination of internal and external connections is made only for information to show that this technique can combine implants of different platforms and connections.
As you can see, we proceed to place the converters. These attachments, classified as DMEIF, perform the function of transforming the internal connections into external ones. After this operation, we already have six implants with external connection format, so we could proceed to place the sear lock. The laboratory has performed through the working model, measurements corresponding to the height of sear lock and the angulation of the implant, so sear lock could correct the discrepancies. It is advisable to subtract the sear lock of the working model and transfer respecting to the position that has been removed from the model. It is advisable to subtract the zero lock of the working model and transfer respecting the position that has been removed from the model. Zero lock angulated males have an identification mark that allows to place the zero lock male in the same direction as the angle of insertion of the screwdriver. That is, if the implant has its mesial distal insertion, reference will always be situated distally, as you can see in the video. On the angulation correction technique, you can find informative videos and case studies on the website of Dental Milling Engineering, explaining step by step the angular correction in more detail. It is observed how despite the divergence of the implants, the six heads of the zero lock males are completely parallel to the plane of insertion. This is what prevents, in the act of placing the prosthesis, the risk of smudging retainers. It is advisable to place the zero lock and screw one by one for a subsequent visual inspection, checking that the heads of all the males are in parallel positions. In this step, it is prepared to cement the retainer holders to the prosthesis. We recommend using cement with fixing characteristics allowing metal to metal. The zero lock container 
is the attachment that will help us cement titanium retainer holders. It is specially designed to prevent cement seeping between the gum and the mail. That is, it prevents cement from males impending the removal of the prosthesis once cemented. It is very important to place the retainer holders with red containers in the mouth. And observe that titanium retainer holders are perfectly parallel to each other. The curing time of cement is determined in the operation instructions of each manufacturer. It is advisable to maintain the pressure of the prosthesis manually. It is not recommended to cement by asking the patient to bite. If there is no proper occlusion, this could not make the prosthesis become passively cemented. Because once the final placement with corresponding retainers are made, it will be proceeded to control and retouch the occlusion if necessary. It is very important and advisable when placing the cement into the prosthesis, not filling the cavities to the maximum, because when the titanium retainer holder occupies the cavity, the entire surplus cement will go outside the cavity of the prosthesis, even invading tissues. Using the removal of bridges, we proceed to remove the prosthesis. Later, we remove the containers and place permanent retainers. These functions are performed through a handpiece specially designed for the removal and placement thereof. Tool for spare parts called DME, DES, and indispensable for this function. It is recommended to use in the first placement and for a week the retainers of 1 kilo called DME RTB red color, later to be replaced as it seems appropriate to the doctor with retainers of 2 kilos DME RTM blue color or 3 kilos DME RTD glass color depending on the number of implants of the patient and its location. Keep in mind that with a retainer of 3 kilos, the patient will be unable to remove the prosthesis himself, while with the retainers of 1 kilo, the patient will be able to remove the prosthesis and sanitize it by himself. Searlock, the revolutionary anchor system for overdentures. Safety Passivity Hygiene
easy to remove. without the difficult removal of the screws to the hygienic prosthetic. The future is here. Serial lock of dental milling engineering. Here we have a step-by-step -step guidance data from a laboratory reference in the sector which has kindly given us, through photographic documents, a real case illustrated with study models. In this case, we can see the complete technique of how a fixed prosthesis with zero lock is performed, avoiding the need of screwing the definitive prosthesis. To make this work, we have used six t Teres implants IDME line internal connection. Some divergences are up to 20 degrees of angulation, which have been corrected with sear lock. In fact, using internal connection implants, sear lock has been combined with DMEIF converters. In this case, we can see the complete technique of how a fixed prosthesis with sear lock is performed, avoiding the need of screwing the definitive prosthesis. To make this work, we have used six t Ceres implants IDME line internal connection. Some divergences are up to 20 degrees of angulation, which have been corrected with deer lock. In fact, using internal connection implants, deer lock has been combined with DMEIF converters. As the sequence progresses, they will be detailing the different angles of the implants. It is a case bottom and has an excellent disposition of its six implants to ensure a perfect fixing of the final prosthesis. Next, we present several slides to show the process. Here, you can see the angulated position of the implant's replicas through the replica transparency model. In this slide, a side view, you can see the different angles much better and observe in details how the zero lock male has already corrected the problem of divergences in the implants. Here, you will see the metal structure and casting, with the cavities prepared for cementing. The retainer holders will follow. The right model is the model where the laboratory has performed the work requested by the doctor for a fixed prosthesis, using the zero lock attachment as an anchor. The model on the left is the study model which was prepared as a demonstration by Dental Milling Engineering, a courtesy of José Luis de Castro Jiménez, who performed this work with Dr. José Rubio García. In the model on the right, it can be seen that the titanium retainer holders are perfectly parallel to the insertion plane. In this slide, the finished prosthesis is observed. As it was already mentioned in the video presentation, one of the greatest advantages of this type of work is that there are no holes in the occlusion of the prosthesis. It means that the doctor will not have to seal these holes as it happens with direct screwed prosthesis. It is known that all the labor problems to protect and seal the screw holes start here. Remember that every time the patient comes for cleaning, the doctor will have to remove the ceramocomposite, clean and remove the screws 
replacing those that were in bad condition. Clean, screw back, and finally seal a new setting occlusion with a polished ending of the shutter. As previously reported in our informational video, we proceed to remove the zero lock of the model and place them into the mouth one by one with a corresponding converter and a screw in the same position that the model shows. The converter is positioned to convert the internal connection of the implant into an external one. Remember that it is very important to take care with the positioning, respecting the correct angle that was taken into account by the laboratory when they initially started. With all the retainer holders placed, a visual inspection of parallelism is performed. In this step, we will proceed to cement the retainer holders to the prosthesis. We recommend using cement with fixing features that allows metal to metal. It is very important to place the retainer holders with red containers into the mouth and observe that titanium retainers are perfectly parallel to each other. It is very important and advisable when placing the cement into the prosthesis to not fill the cavities to the maximum. The prosthesis is screwed manually, preventing the patient from biting his own prosthesis. It is always guaranteed a passive fit by manual clumping. An eye check is performed to see the fit of the prosthesis to the gum. After the removal of the containers, we proceed to remove the excess cement, if any, preparing to place the indicated retainers appropriately. In this case, the retainer which was chosen is the 2 kilos retainer, as the doctor has decided to carry out a test within 15 days to determine whether to keep the same retainers or replacing them by the 3 kilos ones. Installed and completed work. Sear lock, the future of fixed prosthesis.